Yeah, Vicki, Rick, the last police car left about 20 minutes ago, and you could see behind me workers are boarding up the broken glass. It's a far cry from the chaos from earlier this morning. This cell phone video captured the moments when police first responded to the old National Bank on Main Street in downtown Louisville. I got a call from my wife panicking that she was locked in the vault, that there was an active shooter in the building, and call 911. Police say the call of an active shooter came in at 8.38 a.m. Officers were on scene within three minutes. The suspect shot at officers. We then returned fire and stopped that threat. The suspect is deceased. They say the shooter was a bank employee, 25-year-old Connor Sturgeon. Three officers were hit in the exchange of gunfire, including 26-year-old rookie Nicholas Wilt. And for my LMPD officers who took it upon themselves to not wait to assess everything, but just went in to stop the threat so that more lives would not be lost. Thank you. Sturgeon killed five people in all. Four bank employees died immediately. Thomas Elliott, James Tutt, Juliana Farmer, and Joshua Barrick. EMS workers rushed nine other people to the University of Louisville Hospital, where Deanna Eckert died later in the evening. Today is a day that's heartbreaking for our city, for all of us, and especially for the people who were in that office at Old National Bank and their loved ones. Dozens of police cars descended on the scene, blocking off Main Street for the rest of the day as onlookers watched in disbelief. Just overly sad of uh, the loss of life. It's just happening too much. Bullet holes could be seen in the glass of the bank and nearby businesses. Later that afternoon, a SWAT team went into the Camp Taylor house where Sturgeon rented a room as neighbors watched in shock. You know, always friendly, said hi. He was more of a quiet guy. Um, he kept to himself. LMPD Chief Jacqueline Gwenville Royal would not comment on a motive. We want to focus in on the families. We want to focus in right now what happened, and as this investigation continues to unfold, then we'll be able to reveal a little bit more. Also at that press conference, a lot of credit was given to those 911 dispatchers, fire and EMS and other law enforcement agencies who came and helped out. We expect to learn more at another press conference tomorrow. Live in downtown Louisville, Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.